Gishakaduk, Giza Sethri Kidu 10, was king of the Sumerian city state of Umma and husband of Queen Baran Ernan, circa 2400 BCE. He was the son of Idel, king of Umma. He is particularly known from a gold votive plate by his queen, in which she describes her genealogy in great detail. The inscription on the plate reads 4. The god, Shara, lord of the Emot, when Baran wife of Gishakadu, king of Umma, daughter of Uarloma, king of Umma, granddaughter of Enakal, king of Umma, daughter in law of Idel, king of Umma, had made Shara resplendent and had built him a holy throne, for her life, to Shara, in the Ema, she offered, this ornament. The original royal line of Umma consisted in the filiation of Enakal, possibly son of Ush, and his own son Uarloma. When Uarloma died, presumably without a son but certainly with a daughter named Barahurnam, the throne was handed over to Idel, son of Yanandu, who had no regnal title, and grandson, or nephew, of Enikel. King Idel was then succeeded by his own son Gishakadu. Barahurnam married her cousin Gishakadu, thus reuniting both stands of the royal family by a marital alliance. Gishakadu is also known from a dedicatory inscription on a cylinder. When Shara spoke to Enlil, the prayers gathered in his heart, and when he approached him, Gishakadu, the beloved shepherd of Shara, the one born, a warrior prince, the fear-inspiring leader of Sumer, who has no rival in all the foreign lands, the end priest attached to the side of Nanura, counseled by Enki as by his own mother, the beloved friend of Ishtarin, the mighty governor of Enlil, the king selected by Inanna, at the time he constructed this boundary dike. A foundation inscription in his name is also known. References <laughs> 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 <laughs>